I'm out here on this cold and snowy Tennessee afternoon with another one of our popular tools of the trade videos. Jeff started these a long time ago. As a matter of fact, this is the 50th one. Uh, this has been going on for quite some time, and this is where we review products that are related to guns, but not necessarily guns per se. It's just uh, other items of interest to uh, firearms and outdoor enthusiasts. I hope you enjoy it. The first thing I've got to look at with you today is this backpack from uh, Rux Gear, available from our friends at American Tactical. This is a, a really nice backpack, a really nice bug out bag. That's what I look at it as. Uh, it's it's a it's a large backpack. It's got all the usual places for stuff in it. You got uh, spacious pockets here on the front, at the bottom with lots of storage things inside of it. Same deal on the top of the uh, front of the bag. It's got lots of storage places inside of it. You got places on the outside of it for water and different things. You can put all your survival gear in here. It's 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 a big bag. It holds a lot of stuff. It's got a a large center pocket, which is a uh, works very well for if you've got a bunch of magazines you want to throw in there or survival gear or uh, uh, first aid gear uh, MREs whatever you whatever you feel like you need in your bug out bag this has got a lot of room in it it'll accommodate pretty much I think anything that you're going to need to take out with you it's be a great bag to keep packed and ready to go at a moment's notice it's it, it it's really nice and it's very well made it looks good which you know that's that doesn't really help you any as far as the function of it, but it doesn't hurt. The Rux Survivor bag has got reflective strips on the front for night safety. It's also got reflective patches on the back if you've got it turned around that way, if you need to find it at night or something like that. It works very well for that. The uh, straps are all fully reinforced webbing. you got straps for your shoulders, for your waist. You strap it on you very securely, and it ain't going nowhere. All the zippers and the pull tabs are non-rust. They're uh, they're uh, polymer. They're uh, so they won't rust on you. They won't rust shut, and they won't uh, you know be rusting and staining any of your stuff. It's water resistant. They don't say it's waterproof, but they say it's water resistant. I haven't tested that. Another thing I haven't tested, but it's a pretty cool deal. And I don't know why they lie about it. They say that it'll float with up to 10 pounds of stuff in it. So if you're out uh, kayaking or canoeing or something like that. Uh, and you drop it off in the water, as long as it's not too heavy, it's going to float for you. It's a very high quality and very sturdy backpack, but so far it's just that. Um, this thing has got a couple of features in it that a lot of them don't. First of all, here on the side, you've got a, a hidden reinforced handgun pocket, and it's a big one. I've got a Arms Corps 1911 in there, uh, and there's plenty of room besides that in there. It's a nice little handy thing to have. Finally, the back compartment is fully zippered and it unfolds. It's made to uh, to hold one of ATI's Nomad shotguns and it does that very well, but you, you're not limited to that. Here and here, I've got a nine millimeter uh, Ruger PC carbine. It's broken down and it fits in there just fine. The, the straps, they're Velcro. They've got two straps on this side, two straps on this side, bigger straps for the gun, smaller straps for the barrel section. And they work really great. And another cool thing, really, really well thought out deal on this is the Velcro straps, they've got hook and loop on both sides of them. So you can run either one of them over the other and they'll fit and they'll hold securely. That's a really nice way of thinking this thing through. It's a well-designed bag. I highly recommend it if you're looking for a bag. And I was, after things have been going on here lately, I thought it'd be a good idea to have a bug out bag at the ready. So I chose this one and I'm glad I did. It's a dandy bag. The Rux Gear Tactical Survival Backpack is available in several different colors. This is the tan one. They've got several different colors that you can see on the website at americantactical.us. The price on these is $89.95 as of today and it's money well spent for you to be prepared for the worst.
laser sights and tactical lights are really something that uh, comes in handy on a tactical or even hunting guns. So uh, you can use them for a, a number of different applications. If anything's got a Picatinny rail on, this will work on. I've got this on uh, my Taurus TX-22 competition pistol that I reviewed here recently, and I reviewed this the uh, light on that pistol. The CMR-205 from Crimson Trace is a great one. Uh, let me make sure I unload it here. We're good to go. This is a uh, rail-mounted combination tactical light and laser. It's a uh, it uses a CR2 battery, which a CR2 battery is included with this. It's a really neat little system. They, uh, it has four little pads on it. You can hit any any one of them to turn the deal on, and uh, it, it just it works wonderfully. It is uh, it's got four modes in it, which you can uh, cycle by holding two of the buttons. But you can uh, like you got a light and a laser. And then you got the laser, you got a strobe setting. Battery is supposed to last for two hours of continuous use. To help you with the battery life on them, if you forget to worry about what you got on it, it'll, it'll uh, turn itself off after five minutes so you don't be wasting your battery all the time. It also, to mount it, it comes with four adapter plates that helps you perfectly mount to your Picatinny rail. That way, uh, whatever whatever spacing you have on your, on your uh, side or wherever you want your sight to sit on the rail, it, uh, it's got a little rail filler spacing pads in it. You come before those and pretty much accommodate any kind of situation that you've got. It really works great. They're from Crimson Trace, so you know they're good. Uh, we use Crimson Trace products all the time. They're wonderful. MSRP on these is $299.99. You can check them out at Crimson Trace's website, crimsontrace.com. It's the CMR205 Railmaster combination red laser and tactical light. thing that a lot of gun guys have in common is that we tend to appreciate the same types of extraneous products besides just guns like uh, most gun guys carry at least one knife and a lot of gun guys myself included carry a flashlight at all times uh, this is a dandy little flashlight it's the uh, Streamlight Protac 1L it uses one of the little CR123 fat batteries and they're really neat flashlights but the only problem with them is that the is the cost of the battery so uh, the little cr123 batteries are not exactly cheap uh, i use the surefire brand i get them from amazon there i think you get a 12 pack of them for 20 something dollars which is not terribly expensive but uh, it does run into money when you use a flashlight all the time as i use mine every day um, i've since gone to a streamlight uh, rechargeable flashlight the skinnier model USB, it stays in my pocket all the time. This was my everyday carry flashlight until Streamlight came out with the, with the new USB rechargeable ones. Um, but this is a great flashlight. It shines brighter than my new Streamlight, uh, which is a smaller flashlight, but you give up a little bit of brightness for, this, for the smallness of it. This is a very small flashlight also, a little bit bigger in diameter because it's accommodating a bigger battery. But the main problem with these is the cost of keeping yourself in batteries. When you use one every day, you can really start to run into money on that. The folks at Ready Up Gear have a solution to that. They come in a nice little resealable case, which works very well. It's got little latches on three sides of it and a hinge on the fourth side. And the, the battery inside, it's got just one of, the, one of the micro USB ports in it. You can use them on a standard type recharger if, if you've had rechargeable batteries 
for the CR123s in the past. These work on those, but the really nifty thing about them is that they've got a standard mini USB port in them, and it plugs right into any standard mini USB connector like you use on your phone or whatever. Uh, they they charge in a couple of hours. They discharge running continuously with this light at its full power setting. They run continuously for right at an hour. And uh, that would actually, that would last you several days uh, at least, depending on how much you use your flashlight, the, how much I use mine. I use it a little bit every day. And uh, that that is a very reasonable battery life for those. They're a little bit more powerful than the standard uh, standard CR123 battery that runs at three volt. These run at 3.7. So it costs you a little bit of battery life, which is not a problem since they're rechargeable. You can recharge them whenever you need them. They, uh, they discharge in about an hour. They take about two hours to recharge. And that's, that uh, discharge in an hour is in this flashlight running at full power, which is a bunch. These are very powerful flashlights. And uh, running at full power, I just let it run wide open for an hour, and that was about all the battery life we had in that. The, the standard CR123s, the expensive kind, the regular kind, that run about two hours in this thing. And another, another thing about it that I thought was kind of interesting, these run at full power until they stop. The regular CR123 batteries, by the time that two hours was up, it was just barely a faint little trickle of light coming out of that thing. It, it ran probably a good hour, maybe an hour and a half at a good solid uh, power, but uh, after that you could see the power petering out and petering out. These run until they don't, which is really a kind of a nice thing. You don't have your flashlight going dim on you and then you got doggone and got to, got to get another battery for it. The, they spec 800 to 1000 charges on these things before they start to peter out on you. Uh, I, I can't speak to the truth of that. But I can speak to the truth of how long it takes them to charge and discharge, so I think it's probably an accurate number. Time you charge one of these things 800 or 1,000 times, you've had it a good long time. You've had a good life out of it. They're good little batteries, and they're available from concealedcarry.com for $19.95 a two-pack.